If you've ever looked at Octoprint and thought it all looks really complicated, then this video is for you. Let's face it, 3D printing can sometimes take a very long time and sitting with your printer for hours is sometimes just not an option. Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to carry on with your day while still being able to keep an eye on your printer while you weren't in the same room as it? If you've been around 3D printing for any length of time, then you've probably heard of Octoprint. This is open source software that enables you to monitor your prints with a camera, turn your printer on and off, and even send custom G-code commands. I've been using Octoprint for a couple of years and honestly, it's really good. The problem with Octoprint is that setting it up can all seem really scary. You have to buy the right version of Raspberry Pi, an additional power supply and camera, and then configure everything on a separate computer before even being able to turn it on. There are many helpful guides online, but I know from experience that it can all seem a bit daunting at the start. And some may feel that it's just beyond them, especially if they're still dialing in a new printer. The other issue with Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi over the past few years is the fact that you just can't get hold of them. Production issues during the global pandemic means that there aren't many about and any you can find are generally way overpriced. What the 3D printing community really needs is a plug and play camera that comes with everything you need in one box, plugs straight into your printer and has an accompanying app so you can keep an eye on what your printer's up to wherever you go. Basically what Octoprint does, but without all the hassle. When I heard about the Beagle Print camera from Minchin, I was excited to try it out and see if this really could be the product that the 3D printing community needs. Minchin offered to send me one for free and here it is. I set the camera running to see how quick and easy it really was to get set up, but I won't show you all of that footage now as it will just take too long. If you do want to see the whole setup process, then check out the video linked down in the description and at the end of the video. What I will do here is give you a quick rundown of how to set it up. Unlike the Raspberry Pi and Octoprint, everything comes in one box. There's a detailed setup manual which guides you through a couple of different options for setup, but I only needed the quick guide. Once the camera is powered through the included USB lead and power adapter, it actually tells you when it's ready to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Camera is ready for Wi-Fi connection. There's an accompanying app which you can find with a handily supplied QR code, or alternatively, you can just find it yourself in your favorite app store. With the app installed and a free account set up, you can very quickly add a device and tell the camera your Wi-Fi settings by pointing the camera at a QR code that is generated on your screen. Once your camera announces that it has successfully connected to the Wi-Fi, your app will be connected to your Beagle camera. All that's left to do is plug your printer into its USB port and if it doesn't automatically detect it like mine did, you can select your printer from a drop-down list. Unfortunately, not all printers are on the list and if your printer isn't on the list, there's no way to add it. You'd have to wait for Minchin to add your printer to the list, so just make sure it's compatible before you buy. Once you're set up, and as long as your camera is still connected to the Wi-Fi network and has power, as soon as you open your app, you're ready to rock. You can also connect through a browser, but you'll have to find your camera's IP address through the settings. But what this does mean is you can also use a desktop computer to control your printer. Once you're connected with either the app or the browser, there are loads of things you can do. Just like with Octoprint, you can start and stop prints, watch them live on the camera, and move your X, Y, and Z axes. You can change the temperature of both the hot end and the heat bed. You can upload files through the wireless connection and also set up time-lapse videos. The time-lapse videos won't be for everyone, but I for one really like this feature. In basic terms, the camera takes a picture once every layer and then stitches all these pictures together to make a video. To make these videos look particularly cool, the Beagle can move the nozzle to the same X and Y location every time it takes a picture. So you get this weird growing print effect. The only downside can be some strings and blobs if you don't get the right settings to prevent a little bit of oozing while the nozzle is away from the print for the picture. All of this has been possible for years with Octoprint, but what the Beagle camera does is bundles up all of the most useful features from Octoprint in an easy to use and set up package. Is the Beagle camera better than Octoprint? No. Is it easier to set up? Definitely. When it comes to comparing price, in theory, the Raspberry Pi route is fractionally cheaper, but when I came to look for one in stock, for comparison, I failed. I simply couldn't find a compatible unit in stock anywhere in the UK. Minchin are also offering you, my viewers, a bit of a discount if you use the purchase links in the description below. So now's a great time to buy if you are looking to remotely control your printer. I've also set up Octoprint on an Android phone when I couldn't buy a Raspberry Pi, but I find it very hit and miss and not reliable enough to actually run a print from it. I tend to just use it as a remote camera, and so the Beagle has now taken its place. Not long after I started to use my Beagle Print camera, I was contacted by Minchin to make me aware of a new update that they'd released. They told me that they like to respond to their customer suggestions for improvements and regularly update the firmware. This particular update added a different time-lapse mode, but also added some more printers to the compatibility list. Minchin told me that some of the features they're working on at the moment are notifications for when your print finishes and also some print resume options. 
Updating was really simple. I just downloaded the update file from their website and then copied it to the camera's SD card. I turned it off and plugged the SD card into my laptop to do this, but apparently updating through the app is also now possible. After putting the SD card back into the camera and powering it up, the update only took a couple of minutes and the camera told me when it was done. Successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. All very simple. I have a few different printers that are on the compatibility list and I tested them all and all worked faultlessly first time. When it comes to pros, the Beagle print camera is really easy to set up. I found it very reliable for starting and stopping prints and the camera quality is pretty good, especially if you select the HD option. As we've seen, Minchin are very actively improving things with free updates. So if you buy a camera today, you'll also have access to any future updates and new features. On the negative side, it would be nice if there was a way of accessing your camera and therefore printer when you weren't on the same network. At the moment, this isn't possible. Also, there's currently no way to send custom G-code commands to your printer like there is with Octoprint. This would come in handy when trying to do things like PID tunes. I did ask Minchin if this is something they could add, and whilst they didn't rule it out for the near future, they said it's not something they're currently working on. There are also no additional plugins like there are with Octoprint, so you'll only get the new features that Minchin add through updates. I also didn't love that the camera sends power to your printer through the USB lead, but this can be easily solved by putting a small piece of tape on the power connection on the USB lead. This is also a common problem with Raspberry Pis. So who do I think should buy a Beagle print camera? Well, anyone who wants to be able to monitor their printer, but either can't get hold of a Raspberry Pi or finds the whole setup a bit complicated. You probably shouldn't buy one if you already have a Raspberry Pi with all the associated accessories, or if you need to be able to monitor your prints while you're not on the same network. I really like this camera for just quickly plugging into whichever printer I want to use and having some basic but reliable controls. I can get on with some work while still being able to quickly check on the print without having to come out to my workshop where the printers live. If you want to get one of these for yourself, don't forget to use the links in the description below to get that discount. And also let me know how you get on with it if and when you decide to get one. If you'd like to see that full setup process in detail, then click here or click here for another video you might like. Thanks for watching.